they all have in their way inspired an atmosphere and an environment for the growth of and appreciation for dance. Five Oklahoma women, all of Native American heritage, stepped onto the international stage and became leading figures in the world of ballet. I am proud of what they've accomplished. I'm proud of uh, what they represent in the world of dance and what they went on to do beyond dance. Not only did their careers leave a profound mark on the international stage, but also the art community right here in Oklahoma. You know, it's not, it's not just a fluke that we are all Native Americans and that we all became dancers. Rosella Hightower, Moslyn Larkin, Maria and Marjorie Tallchief, and Yvonne Shuto were born in small communities across the state during the 1920s. They grew up learning the dances of their Native American heritage, but they also found inspiration on the stage. I think the Ballet Russe had an awful lot to do with our being exposed to ballet because they would tour across America every year. And as children, I know I remember my mother taking me to Oklahoma City to see the ballet. Inspired by the Russian ensemble, all five women went on to take lessons from some of the greatest teachers in the country. Each woman's devotion to her craft would elevate them to the status of prima ballerinas in companies like Ballet Russe, the Paris Opera Ballet, and Marquis de Cuevas. To be a dancer, you really have to have hard work. I mean, you have to start basically with hard work. I've seen many young dancers who I thought were talented, but they did not make it. And it's just simply they, but they, wouldn't, they weren't willing to work that hard and to dedicate themselves that much to it. I mean, and I've seen some that aren't quite that talented that did make it because they were so determined. I think that generation probably was a generation born um, shortly before uh, the Depression or during the Depression. And so that may, that kind of determination and fight for what was important to them may have been a part of that time as well as the, the pioneering spirit. After years on the stage, the women stepped behind the curtain, but continued to live for the dance. Rosella Hightower remained in France after leaving the Grand Ballet Marquis de Cuevas. She became the artistic director of the Paris Opera Ballet and opened her own studio in Cannes. Maria Tallchief founded the Chicago City Ballet, while her sister Marjorie and her husband George Scabine founded the Dallas Ballet. Marjorie also later became the director of dance for the Chicago Ballet and the Haird Conservatory. They inspire people to push themselves and to commit themselves to whatever it is that they want to do. Ballet is not an Osage tradition. They came out of the Osage culture from the Osage Reservation and they made their mark on the world. Moslyn Larkin and her husband Roman Tzinski moved to Tulsa and founded the Tulsa Civic Ballet. Yvonne Shuto and her husband Miguel Terekov moved to Oklahoma City and helped found the OU School of Dance. I think they felt like pioneers and neither of them had ever been associated with the university before. They both had become professional dancers uh, right out of school and in fact not quite finished high school. Um, so they had become professional dancers at a very early age. So a lot of it was kind of seat of the pants, groundbreaking pioneering, but it, it can be really exciting. And, and I think it was for them. They both still performed when, for several years after they founded the School of Dance, which of course was a huge draw and was very inspiring to their students as well. The couple also founded the Oklahoma City Ballet. They all have in their way inspired an atmosphere and an environment for the growth of and appreciation for dance. I suppose maybe determination and tenacity and love for the art form is the over, are the overriding characteristics, but I think each of them had their own distinctive personality as a person and as a dancer that brought their own special kind of magic to their audiences. The way that they motivate people is to not stay rooted simply for the fact that you know you come from a particular tradition that you can really do anything that you want to do as long as you commit to it and you work at it and 
if you shoot for the moon, you'll land among the stars.